This might be a perfect opportunity to set up a portable HF antenna. Something like a little park like this. Something that has no trees. No trees that at least you can put an antenna up on, but you want to get on the air. And so today I'm going to show you a new accessory that you can have for your HF antenna gear. This is going to be a receiver mount that you can deploy in the back of your vehicle if you've got a receiver hitch, whether it's a car, truck, or even, in my case, a little minivan. What I've got here is a receiver hitch mount. It's not just a standard receiver hitch mount. This thing is an extended length model. This allows you to do something that you can't do on the shorter ones, and that is to get your backdoor hatch on a minivan or a, a small car like this to get this thing up without having to take your antenna down. Let me show you how this works. At the front end of this receiver antenna mount is the hole for the pin. This is what you have on just about any standard receiver. Now the dimensions of this bracket is 34 inches. It's 34 inches tall, or top to bottom. Now the mass section itself is 10 inches long. That's plenty enough to hold mass sections in to get the support you need to put this thing up in the air. And the whole product is designed off of two inch tubing, square tubing. And the nut that goes here with the wing nut is 3 8 inch thread. Harry sells these mounts in two different colors, yellow and red. And the reason for that is so that they're easier to see. High visibility is a good thing. If you've ever run into something sticking out of the back of your truck, well, you know what I'm talking about. So making them high visibility is a good feature built into them. Now the beauty of this device is that it's super fast and simple. So you might be on your lunch break or you're on a quick adventure where you're out hiking or doing some walking at a nearby park. And if you're setting up an antenna in a place like this where, you know, you do have trees, there are also power lines here, but there are trees along, in this case, the creek bed or the river. Most people are not going to want you to have an antenna wire obstructing their view. And of course, you don't want to get anybody tangled up. It's just not the right thing to do. So having an alternative like this where you can put up a mast quickly and being able to open the back of your hatch of your vehicle makes it even better. So in case you needed to change something in the back of your rig, you needed to add some equipment, or you just wanted to operate, you've got some protection here from uh, the back of your hatch. And that can be a good thing. I showed you where the pin goes in here and holds it into the receiver. And that keeps this thing from coming in and out. There is the ability for pretty much any receiver to be loose like this. That's just how they are. Now I've shown this in a number of videos and there's an alternative to making these things locked down. So if you wanted to take a little extra time, you can certainly do that. And that'll make it feel like this thing's not gonna go anywhere. And this is the bracket. This is an anti-rattle bracket. And I've picked this up at uh, Harbor Freight. Link in the description. One of the features that this mount has is a thumb screw to tighten down any of the masks that you put in. And this one here is a 3 8 inch threaded thumb screw. And as you tighten that down, any mass that you put in here, it's gonna keep that solid. And as gonna keep it from spinning, you may or may not need that feature, but it's part of the mount. All right, so let me describe a little bit about this product. This is from a ham, a local ham in my area. Alpha Alpha One Hotel Echo. That's A-A-1-H-E, Harry English. He has these made, sells them to local hams, and I thought, what a great opportunity to share this with other people that might have a use for a tool like this in their ham radio arsenal. Now, I don't sell these directly. Harry does, and I'll put his contact information in the description below. Now, Harry did provide me with one of these mast mounts so that I could review and share with you guys. Now, some of the things I like about this mast is the fact that you have a few different masts that fit into this. And these are like the uh, sectional army poles, the aluminum ones, there are two different styles of aluminum ones, and the fiberglass. And they all fit inside of this mount right here. So let me show you what I mean. Now this is the fiberglass mount, and it fits really well. Now I am putting it in an upside down, because this end here would normally go on the bottom. And it is too big for this hole. But if you really wanted to get this side in, you might take and put this in the bottom section first so that it's sticking up. This way you're not going to be able to just quickly pull it out, but it is an option, so it does fit in there. Now these aluminum poles here that have the uh, knurling on them, these also fit into here. 
The same issue though, they've got this little notch down at the bottom, this uh, little where they join together. This won't fit into the mount. They won't fit this way, but they do fit that way. And I don't necessarily know that that's a bad thing. You can always put the, a cap on the bottom and hook them all up together just like that. Whether they're the top side down or the top side up. Now these last poles, these are pretty traditional. I have a lot of these. I've put many of, you know, 40 foot masts to build these together. What's nice about these is they don't have any of those lips um, on either end. So they fit perfectly into the hole and tightened in. And of course, if you want to keep these from spinning, you give this a couple turns and now that thing's not going anywhere. This thing is as, as solid as can be. Now, if I want to build these sections and make a taller mast, which is what I would want to do if I'm out portable operating, I'm just going to take this one and add it on to the top of the first one. And there's the beginning of our mast. Now, if you look up here at the top, I don't know how well that's going to show up. I've got just enough clearance here for this antenna to make it past my rear hatch, the rear tailgate, at least in my minivan. And keeping in mind too that not everybody's got a low rider like mine, where the front end is super low to the ground. I do have a receiver hitch that I put on for pulling like a little cargo trailer at one time. It's paid off for me in this event. All right, so now you can see how this is set up here. Super fast to deploy and pretty flexible with the amount of poles that you can get up on here. Let me put some more on here and show you how this thing goes together. Show you how easy this really can be. So I've got six sections up here up to the highest peak. And they're roughly, I think they're like three feet tall each section. So that's gonna give me uh, 18 feet or so off the ground. You know, as sturdy as these are, if you've ever, if you've ever used a mass system like this, you know how stable these things are. This is really solid. And I could put something major up here, you know, uh, at least a, a decent uh, two meter UHF, VHF Yagi, something like that, arrow antenna or an elk antenna, something like that. And definitely I could put a carabiner at the top of that and pull up a wire antenna. And that's the whole point, having an ability to put up some sort of antenna, HF or otherwise, so that you can get on the air. If you've never been able to do portable operating and you wanted to, or you just need an extra option for yourself so you can get out and operate portable. If you live in an area where there are not a lot of trees or you're in an area where you're going to be and you know there are not going to be kind of trees, heck, you could be on a road trip, pull off the side of the road and set yourself up an antenna like this, do parks on the air. If you don't have some of these, I highly recommend you get some for yourself because you never know when you're going to need something like this. So this is how fast it is to put this thing up in the air. I'm gonna take this back down because I'm not putting up an antenna. I just wanted to show you how this actually works. And you can put your own antenna to the top of this thing. And that's the whole point of this, giving you flexibility, giving you options where you may not have them. You could be in some sort of emergency preparedness situation and uh, you need an alternative way. Well, this is one of those ways. Make sure you check out the link down below for AA1HE for Harry and uh, ask some questions for him. How much does it cost to ship? How can you get your hands on one of these for yourself? If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to get more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time, 73.